Welcome to Tech Confidential. I'm Mary Kathleen Flynn with Behind the Money. I'm talking with Scott Patterson, the CEO of Jump TV, about internet protocol television, IPTV, and the deal-making opportunities. Tell us, from your point of view, what are the deal-making opportunities for IPTV? Well, there's a tremendous number of ways in which investors uh, can participate. Uh, obviously, most of the world's biggest uh, cable companies and telcos are getting involved in IPTV, although it's tough to really get leverage uh, from IPTV given that it's a small part of their business. But there are increasingly a number of um, hardware oriented and software oriented companies that are making products that are specifically for the telcos and the cable companies to buy. And then there are content players, players that have built businesses around enabling uh, internet TV or IPTV. Jump TV is one example of that. Give us a little perspective on Jump TV. Where, where do you fit in the IPTV landscape? Well, Jump TV is the world's largest broadcaster of ethnic television and one of the world's largest broadcasters of sports television over the internet. We've got about 500 properties, 300 uh, ethnic TV channels from 75 countries around the world, and we have about 200 sporting properties from 30 different countries and 40 states. For example, on the sports side, we have uh, Duke and Ohio State and Virginia and Florida where we've built their websites, we stream their basketball games and football games, we provide online ticketing, we provide uh, the merchandising, we provide social networks working. On the international side of our business, we uh, do sports like the World Cup qualifiers, and we have channels from all over the world. So what we've done is aggregated this uh, massive amount of content, and then we distribute it uh, all over the world through jumptv.com, but also on the godogo.com uh, site, and also through AOL, through Terra, through Tuscali, through portals all over the world. And ag as an aggregator, how much of your strategy is about acquisitions? Well, content acquisition is a key part of our business. Acquisitions vis-a-vis -vis actually acquiring companies is an important part of what we're doing too. We acquired a small company that was uh, in Trinidad and Jamaica. Uh, where they developed a, a small list of content providers and some subscribers, we bought that company. We bought another company called Cycling TV. Big surprise, what is Cycling TV to? They have 15,000 subscribers that all they do is they love cycling and they're watching the Tour de France and the Spanish and Italian races, all that kind of stuff. And then we made a fairly big acquisition. We paid 60 million US for a company called Exos Broadband, which is now the core of Jump TV Sports. And that was a, a company that had built up relationships with 170 sporting properties, most of which are colleges and universities in the United States, about 130 of the 170 properties. You've done something interesting as of an online video player. You've built your own content delivery network instead of relying on Akamai or Limelight. Tell us about that. Well, it's been a very significant endeavor. We, uh, we've invested $50 million. We have pops all over the world. The, the reason is, is that the big content delivery networks, Akamai and Limelight as an example, they were built for video on demand and they're very good at it. They weren't built for live streaming. I mean the actual live football game, the live soccer game, et cetera. And we, we think we're the best in the world at that in terms of the quality of delivery, the, all the technology associated with it, the latency, the packet loss issues, the load balancing issues, which frankly don't impact video on demand nearly as much. So we've made a very significant investment. It does distinguish us uh, from other players. And, and frankly, we think there's huge value in our company uh, as a result of that. All right. Thanks very much, Scott Patterson from Jump TV. I'm Mary Kathleen Flynn with Behind the Money and Tech Confidential.